I'm Miss Staten and this is Mr. Shern and this is our course one math class sixth grade at Elko Middle School and today we're going to be talking about ratios so our learning intention for today is that we're going to be investigating ratios um, and what we're going to do is create ratio tables and we're going to use them to compare um, how much sugar actually goes in the sodas that we drink. Question? Okay. So we're going to start off with a little video first just to show you guys, it may be a little shocking, um, just to show you guys kind of a little bit what our purpose for today is, okay? I promise you it will be shocking. It might be kind of gross. I told you it would be shocking. Obviously, that was a little shocking. What was shocking about that? Or yeah, kind of gross? Raise your hand. Davion? He was eating multiple packs of sugar. He was eating multiple packs of sugar. That's kind of gross, right? Yeah, yeah. his stomach hurt. You wouldn't want to, yeah, right. You wouldn't want to eat multiple packs of sugar, yes? What were they trying to show with all those packs of sugar? Yes? Which one has the most sugar? That is what we are going to look at today. Jocelyn? What you're basically doing when you drink soda. What you're basically doing when you drink soda. So today what we're going to be looking at is trying to figure out from these different drinks that I have here, which one has the most sugar, which one has the least sugar, and you guys each in your groups are going to figure out how much sugar packets, how many sugar packets are in each of these things, okay? So Mountain Dew, you guys are going to get Mountain Dew. Yes. Here you go. Actually, let me have, Jackson, can you pass these out for me? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna give you guys sweet tea. You want soda? I'm gonna give y'all Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna give y'all, you want that? You want that? Yeah, that's an energy drink. Gatorade? All right. And you guys already got yours, right? You got your Mountain Dew? Yeah, these are just extra drinks in case you need them. All right, so what we're going to start by looking at is what information you all have and what information we need, okay? Does everybody have what they need? Pencils, everything? I know that. Okay, thank you. Can Joseph borrow a pencil as well? You guys are also going to get one sugar packet. Please do not open the sugar packet, okay? Pencil? Do you, um, do you have an extra pencil? Sure. You have one Yes. I think my extra pencils are out. Can you, get, can you grab a pen from behind my desk? You guys got a sugar packet? Okay. No. All right, so let me grab your attention in five, four, three, two, one, zero. So the first thing that we have on our reporting sheet here is what is the problem that we are trying to figure out? Can anyone share with us what the problem is that we're trying to figure out? Nevaeh? The problem is how many sugar is in Okay, how many sugar? Okay, so how many sugar packets are in there? Are in your, I'm gonna put drink instead. Okay, so you guys can write that for your question. That is our question for today. How many sugar packets are in the drink that your table is investigating? Okay, so what? How many packets of sugar do we think are going to be in the drink? 
that we have, and then we actually will figure out how many packets of sugar would go in there, and I will tell you, it is very shocking. Now I feel bad about drinking soda every day. All right, so what information do we already have on our bottle? Or where can we find information on the bottles that we have? On the back, Julia? On, the, on the back of the drink bottle. On the back of the drink bottle. Do you know what we call that thing on the back? The lake. Yeah, the nutrition facts. So what I want you to do with your table on the nutrition facts, I want you to look on there and talk with your table about what information specifically on that nutrition label do you think we're going to need to use, okay? So talk with your group first. What information on that nutrition label do you think we're gonna need to use? You gave all your pencils to me. Mr. Shine just gave me this pen. All right, I'll give you a um, pen. So you're talking with your group and trying to figure out what information specifically do you think you're going to use on the back of that bottle so that we can figure out how many sugar packets will go in there? What do you guys think? Okay, so you're looking at total sugars on there? Okay. What do y'all think on the back of the bottle? What do you think we're going to use from the nutrition facts to figure out how many sugar packets are in there? Total sugar is 65. Total sugar is 65. What is that in? Give me the pencil. You have the pencil? Give me the pencil. Who's got it? That's okay. We'll figure it out. Jamari, we'll figure it out. Can I have a my pencil? No. In a second. So you said total sugars. What is the total sugars actually in? Like, what what is the unit there? I want you to try nine. So you said it was sixty-five, or what is it? Sixty-six. No, where is it? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. What? G's. What does G mean? Grams, yeah, so 65 grams. So that's what we know so far, that your soda, your Dr. Pepper, has 65 grams of sugar in it. What did you guys figure out? It's 34 grams. 34 grams of sugar? Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and grab your attention up here in three, two, one, zero. What did you guys find was the... Um, Por the part or the portion on the back that we're going to use? Oh. The total sugars? Okay, so we're going to use the total sugars. Did everybody find the total sugars on there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What unit is the total sugars in? Yes. Grams. Okay, so it's in grams, right? And has the G next to it. It's in grams, right? And you guys have a different one for each of your drinks. So you can write down what your grams are for your drink. Now, in order to find out how many sugar packets are going to fit in the drink that you have, what do we need to know? I want you to talk with your groups. What do we need to know? Talk with your groups first. What do we need to know? That's fine. Yeah, you can write that. So you already know that it's 65 grams. Right? So what do we need to know to figure out how many of those are going to go in here? So if it's 65 grams in here and we want to figure out how many of these are going to fit in there, what is the missing piece that we need to know before we can figure out the problem? Shimon, Shimon do you have an idea? So we know that this is 65 grams, right, of total sugar. How are we going to figure out, or what do we need to know about this to figure out how many fit in there? Put it in there. We're not going to put it in there. We're going to calculate something. But what do we need to know about this to figure out how many of these are going to go in there? 129? So there's a piece of information that we don't have. It's not necessarily given on our bottle. There's a piece of information about this that we don't have that we need to know. What don't we know about this? The gram? Yeah, we don't know the grams of this yet. So we need to figure that out. So for what we need to know about this problem, we need to know how many grams are in this little packet. Okay? Can you share that with Jamari as well? 
Wouldn't it be like two and one? Did they put it in? Two and, what do you mean? Two and one, I felt the whole thing. Two. I say seven. You think it's going to be seven? I don't feel the whole thing out of the juice. No, so we're talking about in that actual drink, how much sugar was used in that recipe, basically. So how many packets of this is dissolved? She said 77 G. Okay, so you guys have 77 grams of sugar in here. So what piece of information are we missing about this to figure out how many of these would fit in that? I don't know how much. Because we're trying to figure out how many sugar packets are in it. I don't know how much is in one sugar pack. How much what? I don't know. In one sugar pack, I don't know how much is. 77? So what do we need to know about that sugar packet? How much what? It is 15 students. How much what? How much sugar? How many grams of sugar are in that? That's what we need to figure out, okay? Okay, so let me grab your attention in three, two, one, zero. What was the piece of information that we are missing here? Uh, we don't know. Um, what, raise your hand. We don't know how much sugar is in We don't know how much sugar. We need to know how much in what units. Grams. We need to know how many grams of sugar are in that sugar packet. Okay? How many grams of sugar are in the sugar packet? Did you write that over Yes, you can write this, Joseph. So you guys have figured out you have the information that you know. You have the information that you need. So once I give you that information of how many um, grams are in that sugar packet, you guys will be all set up to actually try to figure out how many of those little sugar packets would fit in the amount of sugar grams that are in your drink. And I will tell you it is shocking, okay? So we are going to use four grams of sugar for these sugar packets. Those sugar packets that you have are four grams per packet, okay? Oops per packet. So now you have the information that you need because you guys said the information that we needed was just how many grams were in that sugar packet. You have the grams in your drink. You have the grams in the sugar packet. Your task now is with your group. Try to answer that question. How many sugar packets would go in this drink? Okay. It is up to you and your group to come up with a strategy on how you can solve, but remember our learning intention for today is that we will be able to create ratio tables to compare things. So a ratio table may really help you in this scenario. Okay? All right, you guys go ahead and talk with your groups, and we will come back together in just a little bit. It's eight and a half of how could we actually fit in the amount of sugar that's already How could we multiply it? Divided by 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 11. Sugar per packet, right? And then how many total grams of sugar are in this? 12 grams of sugar. All right, 12 grams in the drink, right? So in order to do a ratio, we would divide, right? Okay. Energy drink. So what will we divide? All right. This has how many grams in it? 65. 65 grams. So you guys already said that. And this is four grams in here. How can we figure out how many of these are going to go in there? Uh, divide. Okay. No, I mean time. So what are you dividing or multiplying by? What's the reason? 65 times Okay. Why are you multiplying 65 times five? Where the five come from? Five, five more of these will fill. Get more so you think five more of these would go in there? Mm -hmm. So if we're trying to figure out how many of these are actually going to go inside of here, would we add more to it? Okay. So what could we do with the number? We already have that there's 65 grams of sugar in here, right? We already know that. This one's already full, 65 grams. What can we do to figure out how many of these sugar packets will go inside the 65 grams? Say it again? So you think two sugar packets will go in there? Okay, so if we had two sugar packets, how many grams is that? This is four each. How many grams would that be if it's two sugar packets? In here, right? So if he's estimating two, how many grams is that total? No, no, if it's four and four, how many grams is that total? 
She did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Four and four. Eight. It would just be eight. So if we had two sugar packets, it would be eight grams of sugar. But y'all said this has 65 grams of sugar. You know what it means? So we need more than just two. So let's try another estimate. Well, you know what my Yeah, y'all might. Okay. Where is that coming from? Adding more sugar. It's called grams. So instead of adding more sugar into the bottle, let's think about how many of these will make up 65 grams. So we're trying to figure out how much of these, how many of these would make up 65 grams. And we know that this is four. So we want to know how many of these would make up 65 grams. Wait, is that okay, so you're not 100 packets, four grams each. What does that equal? Put it in your bin. Y'all try that out, okay? Okay, so we are going to go ahead and share out um, and see what you guys came up with for your specific drinks. So is there anyone that would like to share out? All right, Nevaeh, we'll start with you, and then we'll come around. All right, so Nevaeh, what did you guys get for your group? We got there is 8.5 packets of sugar in the Gatorade because... There, if there's, we have 34 grams of sugar in the energy drink, and there's four grams in each packet. So, if he, if he eats eight and a half packs of sugar, he would be drink, he'll technically be eating the same amount of sugar as what they're drinking. Okay, so in your drink, you found that there were 8.5 of the packets actually in there, and that's what he would be eating, the guy in the video would be eating 8.5 packets of sugar if he also drank that drink. Interesting. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Bye!